Hi everybody, this is Rock from SlingshotForum.com and this is my very first Inkscape tutorial on how to draw a basic slingshot. Okay, once you have Inkscape open, the first thing I always recommend to do is go File, Document Properties. This will allow you to set your page size. I always work in A4, you may want to work in US letter. Then set the default units that you want to work in. I always work in millimetres, you might choose inches. Once I've done that, I then click on grids. And this is very, very helpful to create a grid. It'll help line everything up and give you a um, much better idea of scale. Click on new for a new rectangular grid. Change your grid units. Again, I'm using millimeters. And I like to set my grid up with a five millimeter spacing. And I put a major grid line every two lines. So I've got a slightly heavier line every centimeter. Once that's done, close the window. As you can see, we've now got a grid on the screen. To make sure we're using that grid properly, you need to make sure this button here, Enable Snapping, is turned on, as well as Snap to Grids. Now the first thing I always like to start off with without drawing any slingshot is doing the fork tips. Using the Bezier and Straight Line tool, select that, and draw a fork tip. Here I'm going to go for 20 millimeters across, which using the grid very easy to get your scale set up there. Now I'll go for a 50 millimeter fork gap, so I'll just count across one, two, three, four, five, and draw my second fork tip. And then generally just start going around using that same tool and hash out the basic idea of your frame. Just to note, you click once with the left hand button, which starts the line click again with the left hand button. Now it'll automatically continue that line on. I generally don't do that so at this point you just click the right hand button and it puts that line in place. And again then now start just hashing out the the rest of your design. and still using the same tool for everything. And again, using the grid makes it very easy to ensure everything's lined up the same on each side. Okay, as you can see, you've got a very, very rough shape there for the slingshot. Now what I'll do is I'll switch over to the Node Edit tool. This allows you, you can click on the center of a line and then drag it out to become a curve. I also then like to just click once on the end of it which will show these control handles. And you can move these around and snap them to the grid. Again, making sure it looks symmetrical on each side. We'll do the same here with the uh, little finger grooves. bottom of our handle and our sides And there you have it guys, look very very rough, very nasty and quick, but that's as easy as it gets. Now you can play around, you can move points around if you want to change the overall size, and go from there. Thanks for watching.